Next, we are going to start induction machine. So, we will see the synchronous machines and transformers in the computer. Cover the topics are very very important for your exam point of view. Right? Where are the topics and problems are in the video? Let me know in the comment section or through my mail ID or WhatsApp number. In the video, we have a WhatsApp number mail ID. If you have any questions or solutions, we have a random list of playlists created. If you have any questions or solutions, we will see the solution. Okay, let us start the induction machine. First off, before entering into the induction machine, we are going to see the difference in between all the machines. Right? So, in the machines, we have to talk about the synchronous machines and the transformer. Anyway, we did not start DC machines yet. We will see the difference. Clear? So, in the synchronous machine, under DC machine, we have two flux. One is called armature flux, another one is called field flux. Right? So, if you have to talk about the two flux, we will talk about the interaction. So, in the synchronous machine, DC machine, we will talk about the double excited machine. Why? The reason is, there are two excitations. Synchronous machine on the end of the room, rotor the DC excitation is wrong, standard the armature winding is placed on the end of the room, armature winding is a flex on the body so long, rotor the field winding is a flex on the body so long, our end of the room, there will be an interaction between them, and the interaction on the end of the room, there will be three effects, we saw that effect is called usually armature reaction, and the armature reaction will be three effects, grass magnetization, demagnetization effect, magnetization effect, right, so this is the other one, synchronous machine, why is it, we have two separate flex, clear that is not the interaction that is why you look at DC machine DC machine is not the same as the NOV here is the two winding one is the field winding and one is armature winding so you look at any classification DC is a series or a shunt so any classification field winding is always separated from armature winding so the two winding is the two flex field winding is the main field flex armature flex is the main field flex that is called armature reaction if we look at the armature reaction we look at the armature reaction we look at the armature reaction magnetization effect, demagnetization effect, magnetization effect. So the conclusion is, synchronous machine and DC machine is doubly excited machine. Why? Because there are two field excitation, sorry, two flux excitation. Clear? Next, transformer. Transformer is not the only way. Usually, transformer is not the only way. When the moment we are giving the supply in the primary side, primary side, you are going to pass the current, there will be a flux. And the flux is going to be secondary to travel. Right? Suppose secondary to travel, you can connect the load, secondary current is zero. EMF is going to develop. When the moment we are connecting the load, you can connect the load, you can connect the operation. Secondary to travel, secondary to travel, you can connect the current. Secondary to travel, you can connect the current. And the flux is going to be the primary to travel. The flux is going to be the opposite. They are opposing each other. Correct? If you have two flux, you can connect the current. See? The example is, if you have a transformer, the primary to travel, five ever flux is going to be the current. When the moment we are connecting the load, assume the load is producing two ever flux in the opposite direction with the transformer flux. If the transformer is going to be the extra ever flux, two ever flux is going to be the second ever flux. Additional ever flux is going to be the cancel of the flux. Primary side of the current is going to increase, extra ever flux is going to be the two ever flux increase. If the amount is going to be the opposite, that amount of flux is going to be the primary side of the current. Two flux is going to cancel. The result of the transformer is going to be the flux exit. The flux is going to be the constant of the current. Actually, what happens is that there will be a mutual induction between primary and the secondary. There is no separate windings, right? So, we have only one flux. But transformer action, what happens is that we have only one flux. What happens is that we have to transfer the power to the primary and secondary to the power. So, this is called singly excited machine. There are two excitations. If you sit down and observe, there is a DC and there is a DC. So, doubly excited. DC machine observe, there is a DC and there is a field and there is a double excited. Transformer observe, there is a DC and there is a DC. Primary AC, secondary AC, one flux. So that is called singly excited machine. Again, when we are discussing about induction machine. So induction machine is another topic. See, I am talking about three phase and the single phase. There are two classifications. Anyway, first we will see the general. You know the three phase. So three phase from the matter starter starter level to what you know we call three phases. They are what? मूल बेल्ट नटल एंडर पड़ी ना 120 डिग्री फेस इसके सुन्दर एस वर सिंक्रोनस मशीन नम स्टैटर एक प्री डिजाइन करने मो आधे एक कंस्ट्रक्शन राइट एक्चुअल नम अगर सिंक्रोनस मशीन ला स्टैटर की अन्य ना प्रोसेस जल्लो पड़ो मत आप्रेन ही नहीं अप्लेस करने दिला देर इस नो बिग डिफरेंस बट दी डिफरेंस इस व्हेन वी आर � if you observe the rotor, the rotor is a DC. If you observe the rotor, simply we have a rotor. 
clear and the water the sometimes enna irukum appadina copper bars irukum copper bar appadina indha mari or thin wire right so thick or copper bar eduthukitta or anja copper bar vandu appadi or cylinder structure la kondu vandu rendu pakkama enna panirukona short panna irukom adhu vandu one type of arrangement ina vandu slipping appadina inoru type of arrangement irukka anyway the conclusion is inga enna solla varom appadina in case of induction machine indha mari vandu rendu field la vandu separate ah excite panni avanga rendu per kadula interaction andha mari concept la inga eduvume kedaiyadha it is same as the principle of transformer transformer la namba enna procedure paathu அந்த பிரஷர் அப்படியே நீங்க இன்டக்ஷன் மெஷின்ல அப்ளை பண்ண வேண்டியதா தி ஒன் அண்ட் ஓன்லி டிஃபரன்ஸ் கேஸ் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்மர்ல செகண்டரி சைடும் என்னது ஸ்டேஷனரி தான் ரைட் ஆனா இங்க வந்து இன்டக்ஷன் மெஷின்ல செகண்டரி அப்படிங்கறத தான் ரோட்டர் பார்ட் ரோட்டர் வந்து எப்படி இருக்கும் இட் இஸ் கீப் ஆன் ரோட்டேட்டிங் தட் இஸ் தி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பிரைமரி டிஃபரன்ஸ் அடுத்து நீங்க அப்சர்வ் பண்ணீங்க அப்படினா சோ தி செகண்டரி டிஃபரன்ஸ் இஸ் டிரான்ஸ்ஃபார்மருக்கு இன்டக்ஷன் மெஷின் நம்ம கம்பேர் பண்ணி பாக்கும்போது செகண்டரில இங்க ரோட்டர் வந்து ரோட்டேட்டிங் பார்ட் பிரைமரி வந்து இங்க வந்து செகண்டரி வந்து ஃபிக்ஸ்ட் பார்ட் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் திங் இவங்க ரெண்டு பேருக்கு நடுல அதாவது ஸ்டேட்டருக்கு ரோட்டருக்கு நடுல தேர் பே யார் கேர் clear in the air gap area enna avum appadina flux vandu travel panna avum flux vandu inga enna panna avum appadina it is traveling through two mediums one is iron bar adha stator la irukka winding valiya flux travel panna podu inna vandu air gap cross panni rotor la reach panna podu but see observe the transformer transformer adha mala yaarume kedai primary ning supply kudutinga appadi and iron bar wire valiya flux vandu travel panni secondary reach panna podu right so there is no concept of mechanism of air right air valiya flux vandu travel panna vendi vala inga kediyadu in case of transformer that is the next difference and one more big difference so what is the first conclusion primary is dc machine is synchronous machine and double excited Uh, transformer induction machine single excited first conclusion is over next uh, namm already enna panirukom appadina the reactive power abindra or term vandu the synchronous machine la paathirukom naan ikkada solla irukken lya under excitation over excitation normal excitation andha mari namm three concept la paathirukom synchronous machines la that is generator ah seri motor ah seri idu vandu enna panrom appadina idu vechu namm reactive power vandu control panirukom right so sometimes vandu enna panirukona ulle iruka excitation ulle iruka excitation vandu actually enna panrom appadina stator ku rotor ku nadu iruka air gap vandu fill panradhukku or flux vandu produce panrom right அப்படி இந்த DC எக்ஸைட்டேஷன் வந்து ஒரு फ्लக்ஸ் प्रोड्यूस பண்ணும்போது இந்த ஏர் கேப் பத்தி தேவையான फ्लக்ஸ் விட அதிகமான फ्लக்ஸ் வந்து இது प्रोड्यूस பண்ணுச்சு அப்படினா இட் இஸ் திஸ் மெஷின் இஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் டெலிவரிங் தி ரியாக்டிவ் பவர் இத நாம ஏற்கனவே பார்த்திருந்தோம் கரெக்ட்டா அதே மாதிரி ஏர் கேப் பத்தி தேவையான फ्लக்ஸ் விட கம்மியான फ्लக்ஸ் இந்த DC எக்ஸைட்டேஷன் வந்து प्रोड्यूस பண்ணுச்சு அப்படினா அப்ப என்ன பண்ணோம் மெஷின் ஸ்டார்ட் அப்சார்பிங் தி ரியாக்டிவ் பவர் फ्रॉम தி சப்ளை கிரிட் ல இருந்து எடுத்து உள்ள எவ்வளவு फ्लக்ஸ் கம்மியா இருக்கோ அத காம்பன்சேட் பண்ணோம் ரைட் சோ தி கன்க்ளூஷன் இஸ் இன் கேஸ் ஆஃப் சிம்பிளஸ் மெஷின் we have been discussed about the concept of reactive power compensation clear so the reactive power abingra technique uh, reactive power abingra concept vandu enga varum appadina in case of synchronous machine anyway next to dc machine la andamara or concept e kedaiyadhu since we are discussing about dc dc la reactive power pathi pesalama pesave kudadhu because in dc we have only what resistive circuits so there is no concept of reactive power clear adhe mari nam induction machine enna panna poradhu na the reactive power pathi nam pesa poradhu kedaiyadhu clear indha edathula nam paatha under excitation over excitation andha mari endha or excitation so neenga kedaiyadhu since you have only three phase transformer la paatha operation apdi inga apdi pathi rotor vandu nam rotate panna porom right so this are the difference between four machines i hope you all understand right illa vera edhachi doubts undha appadina you can ask in the comment section in the next lecture we will start the induction machine so thanks for watching our videos thank you all